Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosio, and today I'm just going to do a quick whip and chat just to give some updates about the channel, what's going on with me, and updates of paintings I'm working on. <laughs> and a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> so the painting I'm working on today is the beautiful blue cat. I had showed a kit up of it, I believe, this past weekend uh, for Feline Love 24. That's being... I keep wanting to say handled, but that's not the right wording. That's being run by Ms. Diamond Grandma and coasted by Diamond Nana. So I've been working. I kind of worked on it a bit uh, this weekend. I was actually out of town, so I kind of had to figure out what time I can sit down and actually diamond paint. And that's this little section here that I was able to finish. If you can see the little line here. And the section I'm going to work on today is the one with the little witch sticker that's here on this little release paper. So let me just remove that real quick. And actually I'm gonna need tweezers for that because the glue on this painting is no, no joke. It's, <laughs> it's, it's really sticky. So whenever I think, oh, I can just peel it off. No, I need the tweez tweezers, sorry, to take care of that. So my apologies, I kind of forget where the camera is. There we go. <laughs> so let me just pick that up real quick. I don't know why I like that sound. <laughs> Put it aside real quick. And there we go. So a majority of this painting is a dark blue. So there's different shades of the dark blue. But it kind of throws me off a bit. Because I've already had a mistake with um, W and R, I believe. Because they're both a really dark color. And I do use the legend for this. Because usually I just kit up with numbers. Or symbols, depending if it's a Diamond Art Club painting. It already has the symbols on it. So, let's see, number 11 would be W. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, these are really filled, so I just have to be careful when I open them. <laughs> and the little tray I'm using today is one of my cat-proof trays that I've, well, I've purchased a lot of them. And this one's a nice little silver color. I like it because since it's kind of see-through, you can see it through the light pad. And it works out perfectly for when I'm sitting down and I'm starting to paint. And it helps me recognize, ooh, if there's some trash girls, I can actually see it uh, through the tray. Because you kind of see the little extra part, or if the diamond's not the greatest, that's how you can tell it's a trash one. So, yeah, sorry about that. So, let's begin. So, as I said before, I was out of town. I'm still trying to finish up a lot of, well, moving. <laughs> So that's why I unfortunately didn't really get to record. I originally was going to put a video on Saturday, but I ran out of time, ran out of time, sorry, and I didn't get to record, set everything up, upload it to YouTube. So that's why I decided, oh, let me just do it for Sunday. And I already had planned, I have a calendar. Uh, I actually started, I actually got smart and started getting a little bit more, more organized and keeping a lot of videos I'm going to upload, ideas or videos I've already recorded or I'm planning to record, I've been putting them in a Google Calendar to remind me since I pretty much have everything on my phone. So my phone will remind me, oh, this is the video you're going to do today or updates of what's going to happen. Excuse me. So that's why I saw, oh, I was supposed to do it on Saturday, but unfortunately, as I said, I was too busy with moving and all of that, so I didn't get to put it, but luckily y'all got to see the really kind of wonderful <laughs> video I uploaded on Sunday for the kit up for this painting. So, and so for W, this color, it did have a Ziploc bag, but luckily I finished it because this is the majority color of pretty much the whole painting. So I was able to finish that Ziploc bag really quickly when I was working on this. And I was working on this on Sunday and Monday. Yeah, I was working on a Monday as well. Not that much, but I was working on it. And I am so excited because I am almost, almost done finishing my move. And, and I can actually sit down and focus on finishing. Well, not just finishing, but getting ahead on some of these paintings. For some of the event paintings. Don't get me wrong, I'm having fun. It's just I'm really worried I'm going to run out of time and I'm not going to finish by the end of June. But this one is a 30 by 30. 
I usually don't do this size, but I think I can kind of maybe finish it by the end of the month. So I can have a nice, beautiful cat painting in my new apartment on my wall. So it can be decorative. <laughs> Sorry about that. I really was just making sure that these are lined up. So that's why I started really, really focusing. Let me move this a bit because I don't believe it's centered. And there we go. Leave it in focus. Let me just double check real quick because sometimes my camera gets out of focus if I move too much, so I just have to check. So, yeah. Oh, and I'm also a tad nervous because I'm actually going to have a job interview soon. So, I'm a little ooh, a little nervous about that. I mean, I've had so many interviews. I've 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 not kidding. I've had over 100 interviews. I uh, throughout the years, of course, not in one year, because, oh my goodness, I can't imagine that. <laughs> and so I'm kind of used to, you know, how pretty much, well, I mean, not all interviews are the same. Some jobs handle different questions, you know, different ways they handle interviews. So, but I'm still a little bit nervous of, you know, that I'll probably, and I mean, everyone does if, for an interview for anything, not just for a job, for an interview for anything that you're interested in you pretty much have to present yourself and i myself i'm not a really good i don't like talking about myself i don't like i don't want to say overselling but i kind of you know i don't i don't like putting you know anything about oh this is what i'm good at or oh this is yeah i don't uh, i'm a little bit too shy for that <laughs> so that's why i struggle a bit with interviews because the point is to you know Kind of because when you're having an interview, the interviewer doesn't know who you are. So you can't assume, oh, well, they knew. No, they don't. They just know whatever you have, you know, put on your application. So you're going in blind. And so you need to present yourself professionally and informative so they know, oh, OK, so she's familiar with this. And, oh, she knows how to do this. And, you know kind of help them out understanding what your work style is or anything for them to understand that would be helpful for the job. Sorry about that. I kind of went into a tangent about interviews. <laughs> it's just my mind keeps thinking about it because I keep thinking, okay, so I, and I used to, I, I was a manager before, so I've interviewed people before. So I know the other side of the whole interview process. So I know it's a little bit different of oh well I was an interviewer of course they won't have the same style that I had when I would interview so that's I have to remember that and make sure you know to put all the correct information out there so I can get chosen for the job and mostly so I can <laughs> I can get some more money and buy some more wonderful paintings honestly <laughs> other than the bills of course but you know it's all for the paintings for us. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much a little update for me. And for diamond painting, I, as I said, I'm trying to get ahead on, actually, for the other event I'm doing for DP for Pets 2024, since that one's a partial, I've actually got really ahead on that one. And that's the one I actually want to go slow on. Because I said, I kind of want to make it last because it's such a pretty painting, but it's so easy just <laughs> to make whatever push sorry whatever section you're working on it's so so easy to complete it because as i said it's a partial so i'm getting really a hit on that one and that's why i'm like whoa, whoa, whoa no i gotta back off because since this painting is a little bit bigger excuse me it's yeah it's gonna take me a little longer so i know i need to be focusing a little bit more on this one just so i can get ahead and i just i really do want to finish it by the end of june I have so many other paintings and also I need to start on the June paintings you all wonderfully voted for. I need to start on those but I really want to get on these since they were an event. And the June one, the paintings that were voted on, they're not, I don't really have a deadline for those. I just wanted to change up on how I select paintings so and I kind of wanted like channel feedback a bit on you know, which y'all would decide for me since you'd probably be seeing a lot of updates for those paintings. So I just wanted to see which ones you would have selected and 
it'd be paintings that oh I picked that one and you can see the status of how it's going every time I've been sorry who I hit the microphone every time I'm putting updates up there but yeah and I've been seeing oh my goodness so I've been seeing a lot Timu has been sending me Oh, as you all know, I'm an affiliate. <laughs> They've been sending me a lot of deals and discounts, a lot of promotions that they're going on. And they've been showing a lot of new diamond paintings that are coming in. So if you all haven't seen some of the Timu site, check it out. They're getting a lot of new diamond painting paintings that I hadn't seen before. And they put their, oh, their new paintings that came in. And oh, some of them are so, so pretty. And I already have a whole list. Of ones that I want to buy once I save up a bit. And be able to buy all of those wonderful paintings. <laughs> I cannot wait to, to actually be able to get those and present them to you all. And I'm actually still waiting for a Timu order. I should be getting it this week. So I'll be able to show it to you all. And the paintings are a little bit more... I've been looking more into paintings that have magic, potions, that kind of aspect. Because I really love... I really want those kind of paintings on my wall so I've been picking out a lot of those on the Timu site just so I can have them on my wall <laughs> and yeah oh I just saw that I hit the 11 minute mark so I think I'll end there and I think I got a lot done I'm multi-placing these darks since it's such a large color blocking I'm multi uh, sorry multi-placing them just to get the little section off and then I'll single place all the little random colors as you can see the R the B to like a little bit of confetti the majority of the large color I usually use multi-placing which works really really well and yeah that's all I have today I just wanted to give an update and yeah just wanted to give an update especially about the channel so you all know what's going on. And I'll make sure to put information about this painting. And information for the tray as well. And all of that. Just in case you're interested in the items that I'm using today. And again, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, all I ask is if you can do the usual. If you can like and subscribe, I really appreciate that as well. Really helps out the channel and helps all of us out. <laughs> and again, thank you for your time and have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.